Do you want to figure out how to turn $20 into a couple hundred or even a thousand bucks as a teenager? Well, if you want to figure it out, make sure you keep on watching to figure out these five tips and tricks to pretty much make a couple bucks or even a couple thousand dollars in tint. Let's get right into the video. All right. Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another video. If you guys do not know who I am, my name is Colton Merrill. I am uh, Colton. I'm Colton. I'm wearing my glasses today. Uh, if you guys do not do not <laughs> if you guys do not know, I actually have color blindness. I'm colorblind to red and green. Yes, I can see red. I can see green. Don't ask. Whatever. I put the video up in the cards in one of these. Um, I didn't explain it very well, so I'm thinking about remaking it, but. Uh, Whatever, that's another video. So, you clicked on this video to figure out how to make $20 into a couple hundred, even a thousand bucks. Now, it's not going to be like, oh, get rich quick kind of thing. Like, the, yeah, this is going to take a little bit of work. It's definitely going to be easier because you are a teenager and you're supported and whatever. So, it's going to be a little bit easier than with an adult who has to pay rent, food, and all this kind of stuff. But, it's definitely going to be still hard. It's still going to be hard. So, right here, I have one of the items that... I use now you don't have to use this oh. <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> no I'm just kidding <laughs> okay um so you don't have this you don't have to use it hold up let's just put the hair up like that for right now honestly it's just so annoying in my face whatever okay so right here I have a little coin it's a silver coin um you can take it out of the casing you can touch it you can do whatever you can drop it I'm not gonna drop it just because uh, yeah <laughs> uh, but you can do whatever you want with it uh, you can lick it you can feel it you can put it in the water you can do whatever pretty much um, this is what I use to make my main source of income because first of all I do not have a job right now uh, I have not had a job since June June no like July <laughs> okay um, what was I saying I don't even remember. So this is the silver coin. Um, what I do is I buy these locally or even online or from like when I go on trips or whatever. I'll buy them locally, uh, hopefully like a decent price. Usually, This one right here, this one coin cost me, I think it was 20, 26 bucks, $26. So it's a little bit more than 20, but you can get one for 20 bucks. Uh, I'll show you one that you can get for $20. And then what I do is I'll have it for like a like a week or so, whatever. And I'll put this in, down in the description. All you have to do, I swear, it's like the, I'm not paid to do this. This isn't anything. It just it helps you. Um, helps you. It helps you. That's it. Okay. So I'm gonna put a little screen recording right here on the screen. So right here you can see on the bottom right here where it says gold. So I'm just gonna like show you like right up here. So right here it'll say gold and then silver, prices updated, dot dot dot, whatever. So right now it's at 2464, which is pretty low um, for where it's been at. So what you do is I just click on these price charts and yes, the movement is down. That's gold. Never mind. The movement is down on silver. Last month it was 2446, so it's up from last month. Um, but in let me just tell you, in July it was at 29. And I could sell these for $35 a piece. And I bought them for $26 locally because people here or like people locally don't really know what they're worth. So that is that is what I do. I just buy low, sell high. I'm pretty much a reseller, I guess you could say. Hopefully the glare in my glasses isn't super bad. They're like funky because they're colorblind glasses. Um, but yeah, they're cool. <laughs> Whatever. Aside from the point. Pretty much what I'm telling you to do is hop on eBay, hop on OfferUp, hop on Craigslist, hop on KSL, depending on where you live, and find find a niche. That's what it's called, a niche. Um, if you if you know a ton of stuff about cars, buy buy car stuff, sell it to other people. Buy it, buy it like, hey, I'll buy this car for you for like 900, and then fix it up, give it a clean, wash the seats, you know, do whatever, and then sell it for 1100. That's plenty of profit to $200 profit it probably costs you like $50 for the seats and everything so that's $150 profit that's really good I would say for um, a $900 purchase now the niche all you have to do is think what do I like to do or what am I good at if you're good at fixing bikes if you're good at you know, skating if you're good at painting if you're good at 
eating, if you're good at like whatever, all you have to do is just type in your little niche or with Craigslist you can you can go to the subcategories, you just look at the subcategories and you click on, oh this one sounds cool, outdoors, buy um, some boots, buy some $50 boots, clean them up, make them look nice, sell them for 80 somewhere else. Or don't sell them, keep them, you can keep them. Um, yes, I do still have this one because I like it and I'm going to keep it for a little bit. That is the main reason why I don't have a ton of money from this. Um, yes, I'm not. I'm not balling. Definitely not balling. But that's because I am reinvesting it very poorly. What you need to do is you need to plan out how you spend accordingly. If you haven't seen my last video, I'll put it up in the cards. Again, uh, not again. I'll put it up in the cards for the first time in this video, and you'll be able to see the 80/20 rule that I talked about in the last video. So what you need to do for this, um, I know I've been talking about this freaking coin the whole time, but that's just what I do. I buy coins, I buy low, sell high. That's the entire point of what I'm trying to tell you. If you can take $20, go on eBay, go on Craigslist, go on KSL, go on Opera, go on whatever, buy something super low, even go to a yard sale, do what Gary Vee does, go to a yard sale, buy some junky crap that looks crappy for like $5, $2, a dollar, even like 10 bucks, and then sell it on eBay for like $25, $50, sometimes even $100. Like, uh, I don't have anything around me. But I went to a yard sale, I found some old like Cabbage Patch Kids. Dude, they were like $5 and I sold them for like 50 bucks on eBay. It's literally the easiest way to make easy profit. Not super quick, but I mean an eBay, um, an eBay auction only lasts a week, so I would say that's pretty quick. A week is pretty fast for some money return. That's definitely true. And you know, sometimes you lose. Um, there was one time where I bought a coin and the price dropped on it when I bought it super high, apparently. That was like one of my first coins. So that was when I learned that that's okay. Like, that's totally okay. I still have that coin, actually. I'm going to be keeping it for like 90 million years because I bought it so high. Um, but aside from that point, I don't know what is up with my throat, but it is not agreeing with me today. Not agreeing with me today. Hopefully you cannot see me like just completely staring over there uh, the entire time. I'm trying to look at the camera. It's super hard to like get back into this. I'm trying to upload more. I really do like doing YouTube. It's super fun. Um, but whatever, whatever. We're just probably going to cut that part out either way. Oops. Okay. So the entire the entire overview of this video is go find your niche here. I'll put the, I'll put a list right here. Go find your niche on eBay, Amazon. No. Amazon works, yeah, you can buy from private sellers on Amazon, eBay, Amazon, Craigslist, KSL, OfferUp, any kind of like local seller, uh, like a local shop, like a pawn shop sometimes even has some good deals. Not really, but you can you can kind of find some good deals at, at pawn shops. It depends on like the item. Electronics are really hard, I know that for sure. So if you're thinking about getting into electronics, don't do pawn shops, they just their price to sell at pawn shops, but other stuff that's okay. K sell, off rope, whatever you know, yard sale. But just put the list right there. Just go over there, go over there, go on your phone, go drive around, go walk around. Google, there's some apps on the app store for yard sales. They don't work super well, but they kind of work. Google it, um, like local yard sales. Some people put them up on you know ads on Facebook, whatever. Go on Facebook, buy something that you think is cool buy something cool that is super cheap not super expensive or even if it is expensive you don't even need twenty dollars for some of these items you can go buy like a little beanie baby for like two dollars and then resell it on ebay or resell it on craigslist for twenty dollars like it doesn't have to be super expensive but it also doesn't have to be super cheap i would say that my best price range is twenty to fifty dollars like twenty five to fifty honestly yeah, I would say 25 to 50 because I'm, I mean, I'm living off of, I would say live, I say living when I'm living in my parents' house, but whatever. I'm like living off of these coin sales. So you can definitely make great profit. If you guys do want to look more into the coins, I'll just comment down below and I'll just make a video about it. And I'll also put a link down below. I'll put a ton of links down below to like Craigslist, Queso, all these kind of websites where you can find cheap cheap cool stuff or even free stuff there's been some free items where like i'll go pick up couch I've, I've never done this i'm not a couch but i picked up in like a big dresser 
a big dresser for free. Just had to get a truck, use my dad's truck, and then I sold it for two hundred dollars. It's like that was the easiest two hundred bucks I've ever made. I probably spent let's just round up ten dollars in gas, which is a lot. So like we're just like estimating that that's we'll just say ten dollars in expenses because my dad wanted to take a cut. Whatever, fine. I would say the free stuff works super well as well, but yeah. All right guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Hopefully it was a little bit helpful on how to make a little bit of money from your small amount of money, yes. Nowadays it takes money to make money, but $20, $20 is $20. Like, you get $20 for your birthday, homies. It's really not that hard to save $20. Like, if you don't have 20 bucks, just ask your mom for $20 or ask her for like $5 or just do some chores around the house or I don't get paid for chores. Like, clean, your, cl clean some cars. Literally go walk outside and ask someone to clean some cars. That's how I made money one summer. Me and my friend made a couple hundred bucks in like one day. We actually made $200 in one day, so it's 20 cars. It was pretty good, pretty good profit for some 13-year-olds. For some <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure you have an absolutely amazing day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right, adios, homies.